My name is M Stax. Um, I'm a music producer and DJ, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I do music because <laughs> I do music because it's all I know, pretty much. Um, I, I grew up listening to all types of different music. I, I, this is what I wanted to do since I was um, like nine years old. You know, I used to rap into tape recorder in my bedroom to, you know, over rap instrumentals on my karaoke machine. I think after high school, I was forced, not necessarily by my parents, but just by like society in general, like, uh, you gotta go to college. So I'm like, okay. Um, I decided to go to college. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna major in? The first year I didn't know, so I was just in the general studies program, like, like most kids do. And I'm like, okay, well then I guess I'll do business administration. But by the time I figured out, okay, I'm gonna do business administration for the hell of it. I'm here, so I have to get a degree, this is what I'm gonna do. By the time I decided that, is when I flunked out of school. And the reason I flunked out of school is because I was so focused on my music. Like, I wasn't even doing anything major. It was just like, I was just at home. I was just like, rush home from class. Like, you know how most kids would just stay on campus and hang out, go like parties on campus, and just like, want to be on campus all the time and want to live on campus. I would just, I would treat that just like I did high school. I would just jet straight home and, you know, just focus on my craft, which was the music, learning how to record, um, learning how to use Pro Tools and all the different types of keyboards. I just mastered that, it just said, forget school. I mean, it just kind of happened. It's not like I planned it or anything. Right when I flunked out of school was probably one of the most difficult times of my life. And that's like when, when, when life hit me hard, it was like, okay, well, damn. I talked all this shit in college about, you know, how dedicated I was to this music and how this is what I really wanted to do. It was like, okay, well, bam. Here I am in a situation where I don't have anything else to do. I don't have anything else to worry about. I don't have any bills to worry about. I don't have to worry about studying, dealing with any professors. All I got to worry about is the music. So it, it, it got to a point where like I knew I mastered all my equipment. So what was next? And um, I would just wake up every morning and just, just make beats, make beats, make beats. And um, eventually I started sending my stuff out. And it was right when I got my first my first major placement. It was a track for Knowledge from Kids in the Hall. And um, it, it was just like a it was just like a silly mixtape song. But that's that that was when my career started to change. It it went from just producing songs for local artists, just doing a lot of free stuff, just you know, haphazardly making beats and just, you know, for no reason. It's like, after I got that first placement, now I had a reason. Now I, now I had a reason to make beats. It wasn't just making music to make it. As a producer, I've produced for Machine Gun Kelly, Mac Miller, uh, King Chip, Chip the Ripper, Bun B, um, more recently, um, I've, I did some stuff for Wiz Khalifa and Tuki Carter from Taylor Gang. It's a track called Pippin' Ain't Dead. I've also done work with uh, Knowledge from Kids in the Hall, Bizarre from D12. Man, um, it's just like it's like it's just like a list of like an endless list of like talented people that I've worked with. It's like too many to name. Now that I think about it. Well, I started DJing before I started producing. Um, but I think both of them go hand in hand. But when, when I first started DJing, I was DJing for like crowds of like 20, 30 people doing like bar mitzvahs and I was doing like the weirdest bars, but I, it was mainly just to learn my skills, but I'm at a point now where I've been doing this professionally for about like five or six years. So I've built up a reputation and I've built up a brand, especially with the production. I think the production is really what did it and got my name out here. So nowadays, a lot of the people that come out to see me are actually coming to hear these songs that I've produced, which is like, you know, this is this is what I imagined early on. This was like part of my goal. So, like, I went from that to now I'm DJing at some DJing at some of the biggest nightclubs in Ohio or in the Midwest for that matter. And it's like three, four thousand kids. Like I'm, I'm doing shows with Hobson, doing shows with uh, King Chip, uh, D12. 
pack, I mean packed wall to wall, like you can't even slide a business card in. I did a show um, a couple months back with, with Hobson and DJ EV brought me out and we actually crossed my first time crowd surfing. It, it was that packed, like you, you see I'm a big guy, so you can imagine how packed it was. Everybody was able to carry me, I crowd surfed through the whole venue. The m Stacks brand is bigger than music right now. We're doing so many things from the merchandise because we have the m Stacks t-shirts, we're hosting mixtapes, um, my company is also hosting parties and events and just staying consistent and I think other companies and other brands notice the consistency and they're noticing the numbers start to grow so like I'm getting you know hundreds of e emails every other week of companies trying to partner with us trying I'm trying to piggyback off the success that we're having and yeah, I, I think it's a great thing like from the hat that I'm wearing the shirt sunglasses it's all other companies that you know I, my company is branded with yeah so um now that I've linked up with these other companies and these other, these other brands, I'm able to I'm able to feed off of their brand, so to speak, and you know they're able to do the same off of me, so we can all benefit, and also my brand is able to expand along with theirs.